So here on the port engine, Ford Lehman 120, fired it up at the beginning of the season and got water leaking out through around the seal here. So this is one of the original Jabsco pumps, which notoriously uh, known for having wear on the drive tang uh, and sometimes failure, leaving you without raw water cooling. Anyway, ordered a new pump, going to remove this one and get the new pump installed. So a matter of three bolts, one down here, one right back in there, and then another one just visible, let's see, right back here. So, shouldn't take too long. All right, got the fasteners out and gave the pump a couple gentle wraps with a mallet to get it loose. Gasket partially stuck to the timing cover there, whatever that is. Anyway, pump just pulls aft and out. And old pump's out. So the gasket all removed and cleaned up. And uh, there is a pin, tapered pin, that goes into that hole right there. That's a high pressure oil hole. So to prevent leaks coming from around the gasket, American Diesel supplies this pin and suggests that you coat it with Permatex number two and insert it tapered end first into that hole there at the eight o'clock position as you're looking toward the front of the engine from the back of the engine. So this is the injection pump below the injection pump. That's where the water pump is. And there you can see that oil hole right there. So I'm gonna put some Permatex on it and plug it up. I removed the fittings, inlet and outlet fittings from the original pump and I will install them on the new pump. There's the new pump, all bolted in place. A little bit of Permatex number two. New hose that is supplied with the water pump installed on the oil cooler. Um, had to reroute. The raw water intake used to come right here and around the starboard side of the engine, but due to the pump inlet and outlet orientation, it needed to go straight down. So I had to put some chafe protection there so that the raw water intake hose would not get chafed or damaged. I'll tidy this up later, make it look nicer, probably get a bigger hose actually. Anyway, about an hour. Did a test run, no leaks, everything's good. Here you can see the difference between the old Jabsco pump and the new Johnson pump. So Johnson pump, much shorter assembly, bolted right on to the shaft connected to the gear. Whereas this one down inside has a drive tang, a fork that engages this shaft with the shaft inside of the pump here. I can take that apart in a minute and show that to you. Two Jabsco raw water pumps from a uh, Lehman 120. These things, it's well documented that these drive tangs, so these two mate together like this, the pump fits on there. So it's documented, well known, that it wears. And you can see the wear in here on the male portion. And you can see the wear here on the female portion. You can see the original groove there and how it's widened and opened up on both sides. This one, presumably same number of hours, about 3,000 hours on the engine. You can see that the male Sprockets are in good shape, relatively good for 3,000 hours. And that the female portion is also in good shape. I removed this pump because it was leaking from the seal in here. So hoping to rebuild it. 